What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and this is the 2020 Amazon Echo. Okay, so ever since Amazon came out with their first Echo back in 2014, not only has it found its way into millions of households across the world, the hardware itself has gone through multiple evolutions throughout that time. And as Amazon's voice assistant continues to drive itself as a critical component of any home, it was exciting to see a refresh of the device that started it all, the new 2020 Amazon Echo. Now I've had the opportunity to test this thing for about a week now. Full transparency, this isn't a sponsored video, but Amazon was cool enough to send this over for me to get an early look. So today I want to do a quick hands-on review of some of the key features of this device. And at the end, I'm going to talk about whether or not it's something you should pick up for this holiday season. Now before we get into the review, if you're into checking out the latest consumer tech products before you buy them, or if you're just a tech head like me, I make a video like this every single week. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you can be the first to know when a new JSL review is out and you don't miss anything. And quick question for you guys. I mean, there's no doubt that the 2020 Echo is going to compete head to head with the newly announced Apple HomePod mini. Before I get into all this, which one would you guys go for and why? Curious to get your thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Okay, first let's do a quick unboxing here. Once you crack it open, you're gonna see the Echo itself wrapped in this plastic covering. We'll set that aside for just one second. There's also a power cable tucked into the side. And last, you have your instruction manual. Pretty basic stuff. Okay, back to the Echo itself. And right away, the first thing you're gonna notice is just how hefty this thing is. Even though it is around the size of a small melon, it's quite a dense package that weighs around 34 ounces. And from a physical design perspective, right off the bat, it's great to see Amazon go with this spherical design. It's something that Amazon has messed around with, but this implementation is much more substantial and refined, and it's a nice change of pace from the cylindrical design it's been using for a long time now. It's made primarily out of a durable plastic, but the majority of the Echo consists of a wraparound fabric grill that covers around 90% of the device's exterior. Now I have the Glacier White version and I personally love it. It's super clean, and it has a modern yet cozy aesthetic about it, and it really does bring some warmth to my desk setup. You have a set of physical buttons on the top of the Echo, two to adjust the volume, one primary setup button, and a button to mute your Echo's microphones in the event that you want some privacy. Now Amazon moved this signature ring-shaped LED to the bottom of the device, and again, it's really nice. It gets quite bright when engaged, and it's still very visible when interacting with the Echo. On the back, you have two ports, one for the power cable, and there's also a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary line in, which allows you to hook up the Echo to an external speaker, which is nice to see. All in all, when it comes to design, I could totally see the fourth generation Echo being a hit for families looking to smarten up their home with style. It's a very sleek design that's way more aesthetically focused than older Echo models, and it rides that perfect line between being a high-tech device and a piece of modern home decor, and to me, that's a really good thing. Okay, next, let's talk about the new Echo's functionality. Now, you're going to have the full set of features that many of us have grown accustomed to, so it can play music from a multitude of streaming devices, it can play your favorite podcasts, even audiobooks if you're an audio user, and of course it could do all the smart assistant stuff, like tell you the weather, make calls, set timers, and control your smart home devices. Now something unique about this particular Echo is that it has a built-in smart hub that's compatible with Zigbee compatible smart home devices, which is actually quite convenient. Take this Philips Hue smart light bulb for example, all you have to do is plug it into your lamp of choice, and once you do, just tell Alexa to search for nearby devices. It'll automatically detect the light, and within a minute, you can now control the light with your Echo. This was probably the easiest smart device I've been able to set up. There was no frustrating pairing process or interfacing between multiple apps. The Echo does all the heavy lifting for you, and it's super convenient. Now there's a ton of Zigbee certified smart home products that the new Echo can control, and word on the street is that it'll soon be able to support devices made by Ring, all making it much easier for consumers to set up a smarter home. There's also a cool new feature in which the fourth generation Echo can use other Echo devices you have scattered around the house to send out an announcement. Just tell your Alexa what you want to announce, and record your message, and then blast it out to every Echo that you have, acting almost like a home intercom system. Alexa, make an announcement. What's the announcement? I'm getting the new iPhone 12 and 12 Pro tomorrow. Announcing. I'm getting the new iPhone 12 and 12 Pro tomorrow. I could see this being pretty useful for families, especially ones that have a ton of Echo Dots all over the place like I do. The fourth generation Echo is also equipped with the new AZ1 neural engine processor that Amazon claims is two times faster and makes for a more natural user experience when using voice controls. Honestly, I don't know if I noticed any major differences in respond times. I really never had any beef with the speed or how natural Alexa sounds before, and so far, my experience with interacting with the new Echo has been fine. 
All in all, the fourth generation Echo really does provide more than just a basic Alexa experience, and it could be a great way to expand the smart footprint across your home, and quite possibly the easiest way possible. Okay, last, let's talk about sound quality. Amazon's goal with this device was to marry the primary features of the original Echo with the robust sound quality of the Echo Plus. And I have to say, they did a really good job in meeting that objective. The fourth generation Echo is packed with a 3-inch neodymium woofer and dual firing tweeters and uses Dolby processing that really emphasizes a broad soundstage. You get really clear, balanced sound that's surprisingly full, the bass is deep and pronounced, but doesn't overshadow the crispy mids or highs. So whether you're listening to hip hop or your favorite podcast, the new Echo sounds pretty Pretty incredible. Here's a quick sound test. Now another thing that new Echo does well, it really fills the room with sound and it makes for a great listening experience no matter where you are in relation to the speaker itself. That's because it automatically senses the acoustics in your environment and then calibrates the audio to make it ideal for your setting, making for a tailored, high quality sound output. You could also connect more than one Echo, including older models together to have your music play on all your devices now. And it's easier than ever to have your favorite music playing in virtually any room of the house. Now, given the compact nature of the new Echo, it's not gonna be at a level where it can replace studio monitor speakers, but the sound is very impressive. And if you stream music a lot in the house, it's really great considering the price. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed with the new Amazon Echo. Truth be told, I've been a huge fan of the Echo Plus, mainly because it sounds so good. And really the sound quality on the fourth generation Echo is the same or even possibly better, which is really impressive. Plus stylistically, it's really well executed. I mean, I could see this thing being included in every mock-up Ikea has in their warehouse. It's such a nice looking piece of hardware. Now, if you only have older Echo models that didn't emphasize sound, I highly recommend leveling up to the new Echo. Echo, it's going to be a night and day difference from something like an Echo Dot, especially if you're a heavy music slash podcast listener, trust me, you're going to love this thing. Plus, if you're looking for a super easy way to smarten up the rest of your home without a major headache, the built-in smart hub is extremely useful, especially if you're not the most tech savvy person out there. Okay, that's about it for this quick review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys found it useful. It really helps me out. If you guys have any questions about anything I covered, leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to get to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.